The following program is classified K for kid friendly. It is suitable for the general audience. Greetings, fellow humans. My name is Legendary Hero, and welcome to Dovetail Games Euro Fishing. Uh, apparently there's no game audio at the moment. Well, the sound effects, but apparently this game doesn't have music. Usually every game I have on the channel has music in the main menu. But I um, decided to play this because um, I did a little bit of fishing in the past while growing up with my dad. He um, taught me how to fish, but I never catch anything. But... Uh, so why not play a digital version? Because sure, if I, I if I get good, I'm sure I'll be able to get some fish. I used to play a fishing game. I can't remember what's called, but I used to play a fishing game on the PS2, and that was uh, fun fun to play because I always able. Well, sometimes I did, sometimes I didn't. It's just it was a weird AI, but anyway. Get to choose a character. It's a bit loud. Okay, so each sort of person has their own different t shirts. And now we got females as well. Rich monkey. Oh wow, lots of choices. I'm gonna go with this simple fellow here. Yeah. And I like this. Yeah, I like this t shirt. Male one. Oh, select character. Name. Hmm. Let's go with my real name, Bread. Bread. Howdy, I'm Bread, and I'm here to do some fishy. In places on fish around here. A Kameni. Discover everything you need to know about how to become a master angler in the Kameni. Well, that, that's clearly a tutorial, so I can do that. Freedom fishing. Just you against the elements in the this pure fishing experience. Take to the bank and master the art of fishing without any timers or competition. That's a relaxing thing I like to do. Live tournament. Live tournaments are online competitions that are available for a limited time. Compete against, compete online against other anglers to reach the top of the rankings to win. Hmm, interesting. End store. Expand your Eurofishing experience. Visit the store to browse the latest additional content offers. So DLC. And oh, got game mode. Single player. Go solo and head for for the bank in freedom fishing. Or practice your angling skills in a variety of challenges. Multiplayer. Fish online with friends and other anglers around the world. Please note that your game experience may change during online play. And a Kameni. The um, DLC is that will just give me access to other fishing areas. But let's start with a Kameni. So it can teach me how to game, play the game. We got the basics which will start. Rewards 200 XP slash 300 TP. Hmm? Learn the basics from our very own Master Carp and Course Angler. In this lesson, you'll be guided through the core elements of Dovetail Games Fishing, including the rules of the lake, how to cast your rod, how to reel in your line, and how to assign different rigs and baits to your rod. Fish on. Want to know how to reel in a big fish? Rewards are saying, just checking. In this lesson, you'll be shown how to reel in a fish by managing your line tension and how to land a fish by using the net. You'll also learn how to spot fish in the water by using the watercraft technique. Hmm. Stalking. Stalking is one of the most accelerating tactics when fishing for specific fish. Oh, fishing, got it. <laughs> And it's a nice angle and face there for stalking. <laughs> it's real close quarters action. In this lesson, you'll be shown how to stalk fish. 
and how to perform an underarm casting, which is ideal for close range attacks. Is stalking a right word to use? <laughs> That's funny. I think I just heard water splashes in the music. That's interesting. Baiting. Big fish can be very difficult to catch, but using bait in more creative ways can really make more opportunities for great catches. In this lesson, you'll be introduced to baiting with a spot and how it can be used to catch larger fish. Multiple rods. Ah, yes, I know. I, I, I was on a boat run once off the Great Barrier Reef with Dad and his friends. Um, grandma as well. Um, we got little. We had little holes on the side of our boats, and we just put the rods in. They'll just hold them until, just check them. And yeah, I think I've seen someone in the boat or someone on a TV show had multiple rods going on once. That's not very ex explaining. Not very good explaining, but um, my childhood is foggy in my memories. Why use multiple rods? More rods means more chances of catching a fish. It's re it really is that simple. In this masterclass lesson, we will show you how to fish with, with multiple rods and how you can use different tactics with each rod. Okay, so that's the master part. Let's start with the basics. And Welcome here we to go. The Dovetail Games Fishing Academy. Oh, it's subtitles anyway. It's a beautiful anyway. day here at the water's edge of the observatory lake. There's a slight breeze blowing across the water, and the conditions are perfect to learn the key skills you'll need to successfully catch fish no matter where you're fishing. In this first lesson, I'm going to take you through the basics of dovetail games fishing. Later, we'll talk about targeting the right location, using different rigs and baits, and the tactics you can employ to set yourself up for a perfect session. Send Before it. the lesson starts, have a walk around and get used to the controls. Oh, okay. Uh, be a nice stroll through the park, just going out for some fishing. By the way, this well, game is running like on the. the hang of it, which is good. Otherwise, it would have been a long day. <laughs> yeah, this game is, is running on the Unreal Engine, and. We've running. got a number of pegs on this lake for you to set up your gear. Okay. You should be able to spot a peg by looking for a sign like this. For now, let's claim this peg. Jambo28. Is that a game tag? When game... you claim a peg, it's yours. No one else can fish from the same peg as long as your gear is in it. Bear in mind, though, if you walk too far away and leave your peg unattended, we'll remove your equipment and allow someone else to claim it. Okay. Um. Someone else owns this one, so can I? Okay, it's time to talk about your fishing tackle. Yay! Your and bait are just two of the tools in your This game is also fish. running on my Choosing the Xbox right One X is console. Essential to catching carp. When you're holding a rod, you can change your rig and bait by now simply you can talk opening the whole your time. inventory and choosing new ones. We'll explain how different setups work in another lesson. For now, just change your rig and bait to whatever you like the sound of. Okay, um, whatever I like the sound of. Braided rig, rig size 12, stiff rig size 12, rig, silt, bed type silt, and gravel. Um, I guess I'll equip that one. And I'll equip that one, which they already equipped. Close your inventory when you're happy with the tackle options you've chosen. I already did that, right, but you've now you peg and you've got your end tackle let me do set that. Up. Next, I'm going to talk you through how you cast in Dovetail Games Fishing. Start off by walking up to the front of the peg. When you're near the edge of the water, you should be able to open the bail arm, hold the line, and get into a casting position. <laughs> okay. Basic or total. Cast by fi filling up a power meter. The more, the more full the bar, the further you cast. Perfect for new players. 
Total Cast Control. Total Cast Control gives you complete control of the rod's movement and allows you to choose when you release the line. This version of Cast Control is difficult to master but is more accurate and allows you to cast further. Ah, I like this mechanic. I imagine Total Cast Control, um, with my experience of fishing, uh, with the, using the controller, maybe I can do the way I've been taught of using a fishing rod, but, but that's, it says difficult to master and that's for more professional players and basic cast control says it's perfect for new players, so I'll do basic. Start casting by tapping LT. Hold, power up cast. Hold RT to increase casting power. And release at the right time. I got it in. Sweet. You can gauge the bed type by feeling the vibration through the rod when the bait hits the lake bed. Knowing what you're fishing over is a A little bit of vibration. You want to use rigs and baits that are better suited to the particular bed type. But that's vibration of a fishing rod anyway. Bed types. Each bed. Okay, I missed that. Apparently, I got something. Oh yeah, I don't want to snap it. Come out of the water, you! Get out of the water! I'm reeling it in. This is the way I've been taught. Put the rod down and reel it in as I go up. Come on, it's right there. Whoa, 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 what's going on here? Whoa, whoa. Press A to catch the fish. It went in the ground. <laughs> hey, it's my first fish. <laughs> the ground digger. Just be a be beauty belass. Welcome to Don Brand's fi fishing show. I just caught, caught a ground digger. There's little... This little beauty here almost went underground, but I caught it just on the side of the edge of the ground. Tough little bugger, isn't she? Release fish. Top stuff. We're all done for today. Yeah, apparently can keep the fish. In this lesson, we show you how to claim a peg, perform an overarm cast, Ooh. and how to reel in your line. Level one. And since you've been such a good student, I'm going to give you some tackle points. You can use these to unlock Sorry. new gear in the tackle shop, which you'll find on the main menu. On top of that, you've also managed to bag yourself some experience points. Experience points, otherwise known as XP, represent how much experience you have as an angler. The more you gain, the more I understand challenges that very will be well. available to you. And that's the absolute basics of Dovetail Games Fishing. Good job today. I look forward to seeing you on the bank sometime. Thanks, mate. Is this mechanic that gives me the red exclamation marks saying I'm doing too much. So I'm um, not for another lesson. I was worried about I know that and wanna get on with things and catch big fish, but everyone has to start somewhere. And yeah. trust me, when you're on the bank with a fish on, you'll thank me for this. Grab your rod and let's get started. Took a little while to actually get the chance to catch the fish, but now we're here. Just like before, head for a peg and unload your gear. Okie dokie then. This one's owned by Teddy Bear Pig. Now let's talk watercraft. Take a minute and have a look at where you're fishing from. You can see there's a decent margin on the opposite side of the lake with some overhanging trees and some reeds. An ideal place for a carp to hang out. Almost anyone can cast a rod out and wait for the occasional fish, but it requires skill and technique to catch big fish consistently. That's yep. where watercraft comes into play. One element of watercraft is looking for the visual cues. Keep an eye out for splashing, shows, and small feeding bubbles. Oh, I see. These all indicate that there are fish in the area, and this is where you need to be targeted. I think one just flashed. It looks like there's a lot of weed over flash. there. That'll make things harder. Weed bed. Weed is a fish's dream and an angler's nightmare. 
If you're oh, using a yes. bottom bait and you cast into weed, your bait will be hidden and the fish won't find it easily. It can also tangle your line and help the fish escape your hook. Yeah, so, I learned that. When fishing over a weed bed, try using something that sits above it. A chod rig would do the job. Don't worry if you don't have one, you can just use mine for now. But I want it back at the end of the lesson. Okay, yes sir. Every time I fish on the side of the river, I'm always getting seaweed. I never catching fish. They just bite on the rods, and then what I get is seaweed. That's what happens every time I fish. When you're ready, cast out to the weeds on the far bank. Don't worry if you don't hit them first time. Just reel in and try again. Although try not to do that too often. Oh, there we go. Spook the fish. Um. Well, I'm supposed to hold it. Can I reel it in and try again? Yep, sweet. I forgot that I meant to hold it. And... Just went over. That'll do. So, I'm gonna get a bit technical with you now, so pay attention. Your okay. line is attached to a reel on your rod, and all reels are fitted with an adjustable drag system. The drag system is what sets how much resistance there is for the fish to pull line out from the reel. So if you set it to its lowest setting, the fish will pull the line out easily and swim further away. But if you set the drag system to its maximum, the fish won't be able to pull line from the reel at all. It's locked up and the fish is going nowhere. Let's put that Ah, oh, so it's a good thing. It was a good thing when Try it went to like the drag on the reel to 90% red maximum. Okay. 90%. Okay, if you had a fish That's on, 89. You'd find it difficult to pull line out from your reel. Bear in mind though, when you have your drag set this high, you're adding more tension to the line, and that could lead to losing the fish. Yeah, the line could could break. To monitor your tension, take a look at your drag system. When you have a fish on, you'll be able to see how much tension there is on the line by checking the tension gauge. Blue shows you when the tension is low, and red shows you when the tension is high. The two indicators at each end are there to show you when you're in real danger of losing the fish. You don't want to be in here, so adjust your tensions accordingly to get out of the danger zone. Okay. With that in mind, let's lower your drag to something a little easier on the fish. Something like 30%. When the drag is set this low, the fish will be allowed to take the line with a little bit of resistance, but it shouldn't be enough to lose the fish. The trade-off with setting the drag too low is that the fish can easily take the line and head for things that could snag it. You really want to keep the fish away from reeds on the bank and weed beds. If the fish makes it to those spots, then it might well be game over. Okay. Now, if you're lucky enough Thank to you. have a fish on and you're reading it in, my advice is to keep an eye on the fish's movements and what's around it. Constantly check the tension to make sure you have enough to reel in the fish, but not too much that it escapes. Think you're ready to take on a fish? Yeah. Let's fish. You've got a bite. Time to see if you've been paying attention. Start off by reeling in to tighten the line and help set the hook. But keep an eye on the tension. If you lose this fish, you'll owe me a new chod rig. Now stop reeling for a second. You don't want to add too much tension to the line. You can pull the fish in by literally pulling the rod back and then reeling in the slack line. Try it. Pull the rod back over your head. See the tension on the rod? Ah, now move the rod forward and nice. reel in the slack line. Careful now. When there's too little tension on the line, there's a chance of the fish escaping by throwing the hook. But when there's too much tension, well, you can pretty much guess what's going to happen. New chod rig for me. Let's get this fish close to the well, bank. Well, it's so in the ground head. again. <laughs> you can move the rod to the side if you want to pull the fish in a certain direction. That's your tactic. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's going low the fish. place. Alright, I should really in, right? <laughs> it's, whoa, it's out of control. Ah! No! Don't! No, you're not getting away from me. No! Quality stuff. Whoa, whoa! Fish. Just reel it in a little closer. This ground dig can be a crazy one. Reel in the slack line to bring the fish in properly. Whoa! Make or break time. It's time to net the fish. 
Start off by picking up the net. Check it out. You've caught yourself a beautiful common carp. It looks like it went under me, but okay. And tackle points. Let's get this little fella back in the water and we'll call it a day. Yay! Now I call myself another Grand Duke and this be Bread Bread's fishing show. Thanks for watching. Bye, little fishy. And that's it. In this lesson, we've covered how to reel in a fish, how to manage your tension, and you've even bagged yourself a quality common carp. Nice one. Thanks for listening, and I look forward to seeing you on the bank sometime. Okay, thank you, Mr. Fishing Teacher. And now we're heading on to stalking. Oh, yes. Time to stalk some fish. Hmm. Right, here we are again. Now, this time, I'm going to teach you a pretty advanced technique for catching fish. Don't worry about setting your gear up on a peg, because this time, we're going stalking. Stalking is a term anglers use when they're hunting for fish close to the bank. Now, why would you do this? Well, getting a bite in the middle of the lake and playing the fish is exciting stuff, but imagine seeing the fish on the margin, eating your bait right in front of you before it belts off and you're in action. That's the very essence of stalking. It's close quarters combat fishing. Now, let's get stuck in and see if we can get a bite. Ooh, this be exciting. Ah, oh, man, it's raining. One of the best things about stalking for fish is that you aren't restricted to your peg. You're free to walk around the lake, look for fish, and cast out to the optimum location. Give it a go. Walk up to the edge of the lake and cast out. Okay, I'll go here. Before you cast, take a step back and think for a second. If you're fishing in the margins and you're trying to get a fish in at close range, you're not going to bang out a massive overhead cast now, are you? Casting over oh, yeah. short distances is not short the distance. way to go. Instead, you want to change your casting stance to an underarm cast. It's a short range cast and is ideal for fishing in the margins. Press Performing this. an underarm cast is the same as an overhead cast. Ooh. Just hold the line, pull the rod back, and when you're ready, push the rod forward and release the line. It looks simple enough, but it's actually pretty tricky. Like this. Have a couple of practices to get used to underarm casting. And just in case you were wondering, you can still change your stance when you're preparing to cast. For this lesson, let's keep using the underarm cast. Hey, I did it perfect. And one more. Just went over. Plop. <laughs> oh, hold on. I've spotted some fish over there. Oh, really your beauty. Get over there before they spook. You saw some fish, mate. In the margins, you want to keep an eye on the water and see if you can spot the fish in the lake. When you see a fish, you know instantly that you want to be casting your line in that area. Look, right there. Can you see them? I'm Sorry, I interrupted you. Over there. Quick, Ooh, that's the a big out. fish. Hopefully one of them will take it. Cast from anywhere. Hey, I did perfect. Okay, I'm going in. Is he going to catch it? Oh, is that a bite? Oh. Ah, nice one. Now it's just like before. Keep an eye on your line tension and reel your target in. Okay, I got it. Yeah. I got it. Apparently, that's I can see it, through the one. bushes. It looks like you picked yourself up some more oh, that's the same as before. Points. What are you talking about, big fish? Here, Let's put this one back and see if you can catch another. All right. You're on your own this time. I've taught you everything I can about stalking fish, 
So let's see if you can use those skills and catch one for yourself. Okie dokie then. How do you cancel? I guess I just... That was a mistake, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, let's look out for a big fish. Keep an eye out for them big, big fish, mate. Damn big fish could be anywhere. It's only common common cars, so I'll just I'll just do it anyway. Oh wait, I think I saw one over there. Oh, I got it, boy. Come here, you. Hey, hey, hey. I pressed A to catch before, and now you're mine. And that's a lovely looking fish too. Shame it isn't a massive one, but catching these lovely looking carp is still great fun. Hey, I'm still learning. So shit up. Ooh, this one's slightly heavier than before. Okay. When we do more? When we do more teach? No? Okay. Call it a day, I guess. All right, next up, it, next up is baiting. Now I guess we gotta learn to catch some real big fish. Ooh, let's go okay, on. let's get to it. Baiting with a spod is the topic of this next lesson. It's a great tool to help get the fish feeding. Let's start off with the basic principle of baiting. In case you didn't know, baiting is a term anglers use when they drop free bait in an area for the fish to eat. Now, why would any angler give away his bait if there isn't a hook on it? Well, it's kind of like opening a free all-you-can-eat buffet for fish. They can't resist it. Now, just think about having a well-placed hook in the middle of that feeding frenzy. Chances are you're going to get a bite in the middle of all that mayhem. Ah, oh, of course. And that's in a nutshell. Why didn't I Let's think of that? But every look, what I look in in real life to do fishing, it's always thick water. I can't look into it. Also, the map all, in the background still loading. On a peg, <laughs> then you can equip your spot. All right, doesn't look like anyone owns this spot. Oh, wait a minute, Jumbo Twenty Eight. Nah, I've taken this spot before. I'll take it again. Good. Now, take a look at your selection of rods. You should be able to see that you now have a spod available. Just select the spod and you'll switch to it. It's that easy. That's a spod. Looks big. Now, let me explain what a Whoa. spod is. That rocket-shaped thing on the end of your rod is the spod. It's loaded with bait, and each time you cast and it lands in the water, it's dropping its payload. That is what you want. It's basically saying to any fish in the area that the buffet is open for business. Ah, okay. Give it a try. Cast the spot like you'd cast a normal rod. Try aiming it somewhere in the middle of the lake. Okay. And whoosh! Just went over. Did I hit the bridge? Usually you want to bait an area a couple of times, adding loads of food to the area. To consistently cast the spot at the same distance, you can set the line clip. The line clip limits the amount of line that's allowed off the reel, and by setting the line clip, you'll hit the same maximum distance every time. Try setting the line clip, reel in, and cast out to that exact area again. 
Set the maximum line click. Just press That's Y. The one. Okay. Hit line clip. Try to leech the line clip. It's further than before. Okay. Whoops. Forgot I meant to hold it again. Wow, that's so far away. Where did I get that? Oh wow, the stream falls so... realistically. Whoa! It just came to me. Okay, I'm gonna have to set my own new line clip because that's too far. From before. To look like it hit something. Simply unset the clip when the spot is in the water. Job done. Now let's switch to a hook bait and get it out there before the frenzy begins. I'm not sure what happens, but back to progress. Switch to the rod. Okay, now for the difficult bit. You need to cast your line out to the baited area without the line clip. I'm going to teach you a little technique that should help you to do that. What you want to do is set yourself up to cast as far as you can, but when you release the cast, hold the line again to slow it down. This will slow the speed of the line coming off the spool and should help you to guide the rig to the same spot as your baited area. Give it a try. Do a powerful overhead cast, and as you release the line, hold the line again to slow it down. That's what I was doing before, and I think that's what I do in real life anyway. I'm holding, I'm holding, I'm holding. Wow, I put it so, I got it so high. When you're slowing down the cast, you can also Yay. move the rod to the side to pull it in that direction. It's really handy for guiding the bait in the direction you Fishing want Fishing line's to still land. falling. <laughs> guiding the bait. Hold that move your rod to the left or right. Is that it? No. <laughs> this is confusing. <laughs> oh, I see what I'm doing. I hear the clicking. Okay, I'm guiding it as in moving a little bit. I'm doing it. In. You landed that perfectly in the mix. 
It doesn't look like oh. the feeding frenzy started yet, so I tell you what, instead of standing like a spare part with your rod in your hand, okay, I got right, it. you can put the rod down and give your arms a rest. Okay. Ah, oh, isn't that better? You're probably wondering how you know if a fish takes the bait. Oh, right yeah, away. mate. You see that rest your rod is on? Connected to that yeah. is what we call a bite alarm. When you've got a fish on, you'll know because that thing will start beeping away like there's no tomorrow. Whilst you're waiting for a bite, you could go for a wander and see if there are any fish nearby. Or you could just relax and enjoy the tranquility. Could I see? No. Okay, I guess I'm... Hey, oh, never mind. Go. Quick, get your rod and pick it up before the fish runs off with it. Go on now, you got this. Reel that fish in. How? Whoa. I never had a fishing rod that beats before. Whoa, 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 Catch it, catch it, catch it, just catch it. Okay, I, I've caught it. Another beautiful common you bagged yourself. Another ground digger. You're hang of this, aren't you? Well, that's all I could teach you about baiting. Let's put this one back and call it a day. Okie dokie then. Well, that was complicated, but interesting, but let's move on to multiple rods. You're in for a special masterclass session today. I'm going to be showing you my own preferred method of carp fishing, and that's a three rod setup. This is the most commonly used technique for carp fishing because three rods out in the water increases your chances of getting a bite. So, let's get cracking. Okay. If you're going to fish with two or three rods simultaneously, you're going to need to fish from a peg. But you also need a few other things to get started. But for this lesson, you can just use my spare gear. Now, go and set yourself up on a peg. Okay, I guess I'll do it here. When you're fishing with multiple rods, you'll usually start with the first rod in your arsenal. If you want to change your tackle on a certain rod, you need to be holding it first. So, as you're already holding this one, why don't you change the tackle options on it? Hmm. I like these ones. A little tip. I've cast around in this area and it's full of silt. So try switching to a rig and bait ideal for silt beds. Okay. Right, when you're ready, cast out and find the silt bed. Cut your line out to over 10 minutes. Hmm, okay. Okay, I can't move, but okay. I don't know how I'm gonna do 10 minutes, but I'm just gonna. Whoosh! Okay, we've got Still one rod in the water. water. Now switch to your second rod and do the same thing. Just change the tackle to something that will match the bed type you're fishing on and cast out. Alright, mate. Guess I'll leave that there. Cast this one out and this one's perfect. This one's perfect. Top nice. We've got two rods out there now. Switch to your third rod. And this time, we're not going to cast out just yet. Instead, have a wander over there with that rod. 
Okay. I really like this fishing style because it allows you to leave two rods out in the lake and to take your third one for a little stalking session. Ah, yes. Because there's other ways to it. Oh, I got one. Oh, wait a minute. Did you hear that? Quick, get yep. back to your rod. You've got a bite. Hey, better hurry up or that fish is going to be off. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Yes, fish on. Reel that one in. <laughs> this could be stressful ha having more than one fish going up at once. Come on, almost got you. Come yeah. on, stay in control. It's underground. Why is it going on the ground? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, come on, you're up there. Yeah, catch it. Get it. Get it. All right. I'm doing it through the ground. There you go. And I got it. that one then to end the session. Looks like you've got yourself a lovely looking common there. It just goes to show you that the more rods you have out there, the more chance you have of catching a fish. So, let's slip this one back and call it a day. I didn't get to do anything to the third rod, but I I see what I can I see what I have to do. I wasn't really professional, Quite but I, session. I well got done. it. In this lesson, I've shown you how you can fish Yay. three rods at the Level same up. time. And I've also given you a nice little stalking tactic you can add to your game as well. Thanks. Good job. I look forward to seeing you on the bank. Thanks, mate. Lovely tips for to go up in the fishing. Now that I'm through the lessons, let's have a quiet session of freedom fishing. But let's keep it single player for now. Freedom fishing. Ooh, and I can choose map. We got the observatory. Lorraine. Lorraine. Digger Lake. St. John's Lake. Ooh, that's very big. I like that one. Presa del Monte Bravo. Okay, only five, only five lakes for um, for the base game. Hmm. I prefer fishing out in the ocean, but this will do. Let's do this big open lake, Saint John's Lake. Hmm. I can choose settings. Start time. Let's go for 10 minutes. Day length. Oh, short, long. Let's keep it short. Simulation speed. One day equals one hour. Oh, I can't make it realistic. Conditions. Ooh. Random. Wind. Dynamic, static, dynamic. Tackle box. I only got the default one. Alright, let's do some fishing. After getting through to true, we can relax with some fishing. Let's see what other fish I can catch besides common cube. The ground diggers. Oh, I can choose a teleport location. With and it shows peg locations. Ooh, I like it here. Looks pretty obvious obvious there. Ah, uh, it's so beautiful. What was that about the reeds? Ooh, it's something to read. actually going realistic quick travel edit tackle box oh that's that's a cool cool mechanic there northeast I am heading northeast I can hear myself out of breath save it for the fishing 
Hmm. I think I'll do it here. I think I put up um, base, select basic. Let's give me tips, that's good. Whoa, I can use bushes. What? Where are those fishes? Huh? Where are those fishes? Where is that big fishy? Let's just start with a random cast out. And cast. Oh, too much. That's not what, how I expect to do it. Let's do that again. Mm. Ah, reset cast. Okay, I couldn't have done that during the tutorial. That's more like it. I could still be there. Um. Let's put that rod down. Do I have any other rods to use? Oh, yes, I do. Okay, let's um, use this one. Cast it out before I get a bite. Nice one. Nice. All right. Ah. <sighs> Let's use the third one for close up. For a close one. Perfect. And now I'll put it down. Whoa! We got a boy! We got a boy! We got a boy! Ah! I have you now, little fishy. Come here, little fishy. Come here. Oh, it snapped off. Well, it appears I'm not dealing with common calves, am I? Not dealing with any common carbs. What the hell is that? It's got bait, right? Ooh, blood worm. Let's let's use that one. Fish do like them worms. Oh wait, this is a short cast. Damn it. Whoa. I go boy. I go boy. Come here, fishy. Come here. Come here, little fishy. Come here. Come here. Yummy, yummy. Come on. No, no, come on, me. No, no. Yummy. Wait. I decided to put that down. No. What? I guess that's just gone. Whoa, is that plane going over? Or real life. That sounds like a real plane. Well, that's cool. That was weird. 
It just came off as soon as I was about to catch it. Because I put it down. That sucks. Alright, let's cuss it out again. Uh, short cuss again. I forgot to change it. Alright, long cast. And... Whoosh! Let's see if I can get at least one fish. Um, before I fin finish this video. I'll leave that one. That's number two. Oh, <laughs> that's the one that apparently I lost the fish. Get out there. Nice. Now put down the rod. And let's just relax. Just have a wander around, pretend like nothing's happening. Make the fish think think I'm like just got my back towards the fishing rods. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Nice day we're having. Oh, the staying time is uh. It's probably like the hour of the day or something like that. Or showing how long I've been out. Not like a time limit. Alright, let's just see if I can catch one fish. Should be should have the option to sit on my chair. My lawn chair, because I like just to sit and look at. Hmm, I like the dynamic weather effects. Let's move everything. Wow, that was a tough one. Oh, there's another one. Wow, I got two, like two bots at once. Come on. Come to me, little fishy. Come to me. Come to me. Come to me. Come this way. Come on. Come on, little fishy. I'm not gonna hurt you. Come on. Come on. More bait here. Come on. Come on, how are you supposed to catch the fish?
I don't get it. I don't know what the hell happened there, but I'm gonna have to leave this video here. So, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Uh, comment, comment if you like, whatever. Do a YouTube thing. Might do more fishing in the future and actually learn how to fish. Maybe if I get the hang of uh, fishing in uh, freedom fishing here, maybe I'm supposed to be doing a lot smaller lake. Don't taunt me. Don't mock me, fish. Um, but yeah, I can do more fishing videos in the in the future. Let me know if you like to see more. Um, but subscribe if you like to see me play more. Uh, play play fishing, or you can uh, check out my other videos on my channel. Um, it's a lot of fun shooter games, story focused games. Yep, pop some popular, some old games. Stop mocking me, fish. But anyway, as always, this is Legendary Hero. Signing off.